Good afternoon, folks. My, what a difference a day makes. We went from having a different solar storm forecast than everyone yesterday afternoon to now everyone agreeing with our initial analysis. Let's break it all down here. Two days ago, this long-duration solar flare erupted a CME that was clearly Earth-directed, with a full halo eruption visible on SOHO coronagraphs. NOAA took two days to speak on the matter. NASA initially said it would miss, and so did Dr. Tony Phillips, but last night the tune began to change, with Dr. Phillips suggesting an Earth impact was likely on June 4th, and with NASA's model updated to show a glancing blow impact. You may recall this morning, I said this was an improvement, but it still didn't quite capture the true breadth of the CME. Either way, the official expert forecast is for impact June 4th or 5th and a level 1 KP5 geomagnetic storm condition. This afternoon, the NOAA Enlil spiral finally updated, and folks, that's more what I had in mind. Much broader CME than NASA's model and a direct impact to the Earth. Right as June 4th becomes June 5th, UTC time. I will say though, if this is the actual CME diagnostic and it's accurate, reflecting the true power, then their forecast for solar storm condition is still wrong. Maybe this would be a level 1 storm 20 years ago, but not today. Not with Earth's weakening magnetic field. We'll see within about 36 hours here. It's also worth noting, we almost had more on the way. A solar flare and filament snap occurred today. The flare went across the southern active region directly facing Earth. Luckily, it was contained, impulsive, and did not produce a CME, as that would have also been directly fired at Earth. The filament was not the big one, but a smaller one on the north. And luckily, the north-directed destabilization make this also not a direct impact threat for our planet. We are still watching for more eruptions, but the bottom line at this point is that tomorrow night will have an impact, and I think we could see level 2 or 3 storm conditions rather than the level 1 that NOAA forecasts for the event. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.